cat 21 slot 3 quantitative aptitude question number 21 bank a offers 6% interest rate per annum compounded half yearly bank b and c offer simple interest so let me write down that information <coughs> bank a offers 6% ci and compounded every 6 months what about bank B? Bank B and C offer simple interest. So bank B and bank C, they both offer simple interest. But the annual interest rate offered by bank C is twice that of bank B. So here, if the interest rate is R, for bank C, the interest rate must be twice of R. Then, Raju invests a certain amount in bank B for a certain period. Now, nothing is given to you. No principles are given. Just a certain amount. Let's say he invested a principal P for some time T. And Rupa invested rupees 10,000. So, Rupa invested rupees 10K in bank C for twice that period. For, so, Rupa must have invested at simple interest for twice that period. The interest that would accrue to Raju during that period is equal to the interest that would have accrued had he invested the same amount in bank A for one year. So, let us try to find out what is the effective interest rate that Raju would earn if he invested the same amount of money, let's say, the amount earned by Raju after one year. Principal into one. Now since this rate is 6% per annum and it is compounded half yearly, I would take the rate here as 3 and there are two periods. So amount must be principal multiplied by 1 0, 1.03 whole square which is principal multiplied by 10609 or 1.0609. So principal multiplied by 1.0609, what does this tell you? This tells you that principal grew by 6.09%. If you look at this number, 1.0609. So, principal grew by 6.09%. So, had Raju invested this amount in bank A, his interest, effective interest would be 6.09%. So, this is another way of telling you that Raju's rate of interest is 6.09. And what would Rupa's interest be in that case? Rupa's interest is 2R. It must be double of 6.09. That is 12.18%. So at 12.18%, how much will Rupa earn? Rupa will earn 10,000 into 12.18%, which is 1218. But since Rupa has invested the money for twice the period, We'll say that she will earn twice this amount. So we'll have to multiply Rupa's effective in, Rupa's effective interest by 2. Because she has invested in twice the period. So 2, 4, 3, 6. So what is the interest accrued in INR to Rupa? 2, 4, 3, 6. Which must be your answer. Now this question is not difficult. You know, the only thing is you have to understand the story. Quickly note down all the details. Make your own interpretation fast and solve the question because the question is very easy based on elementary arithmetic.